G'day mate, 40 here. We're on the ferry to Parramatta, leaving Sydney Harbour behind, Sydney Opera House. Anyway, I was just listening to Robert Wright interview with Eric Alterman, the left-wing 25-year Nation Magazine media columnist, a PhD in history, a professor of English and journalism, and he was talking about how the United States is not a democracy, it's an oligopoly. And uh, maybe you didn't hear, but uh, Putin's Russia is not a proper democracy. Maybe you heard that uh, China's a dictatorship. But uh, many nations are a combination. In fact, all nations, all nation states are a combination of different forms of government. So the United States has elements of democracy. It has elements of oligopoly. It has elements of dictatorship. It probably has elements of aristocracy. It has all sorts of different elements. So it's not like it's either a democracy or an oligopoly or a dictatorship. It's all three. Like when it comes to foreign policy, the United States president is you know, essentially a dictator. He has all the rights of King George III. Joe Biden has said three times the United States would militarily intervene if China tries to take Taiwan. No, most Americans don't support the shedding of American life to save Taiwan, but the foreign policy elites have already made this decision. The, the, the people don't get a vote on this. The people of the United Kingdom were very opposed to the 2003 invasion of Iraq. England joined the fight nonetheless, because Tony Blair and the Labour government decided it. Australian people were not supportive of Australia joining the wars against Afghanistan and Iraq, but Australia's elites made that decision, and so that's how it is. Right? So the element of d democracy doesn't really decide Australia's foreign policy. There's just elements of democracy in foreign policy. And there are elements of oligopoly and there are elements of dictatorship. So too with Israel. Is Israel an apartheid state? Well, there are elements of the Israeli state and its occupation of the West Bank. You could rightly call, you know, similar to apartheid, and there are elements that are not. Does uh, England have free speech? Right. England has considerably less free speech than the United States, but you know, more than Russia. So, just like people aren't honest, good, righteous, true, they're only honest, good, righteous, true in certain situations, and they're less honest, less righteous, less true, less fair dinkum, less kind in other situations. So too with nations. In certain situations, there'll be dictatorships, such as foreign policy crises. Uh, President Dwight Eisenhower said the United States would only survive nuclear war if it was operated as a dictatorship. So in times of crisis, you know, dictatorial elements come to fore in the nation state. Other times, more democratic elements or oligopoly, oligopolistic elements come to the fore. Depends on the situation. The people aren't one thing.